10.32 a.m. Hello. I'm here today to express my full support of action item 24-0135. Commissioner Hall acted out of line, and we, the taxpayers, should not be at fault for taking the brunt of her bills. District 4 deserves better representation than a commissioner who actively engages in inappropriate relations with employees, then acts inappropriately in their firing who then takes zero responsibility while on the stand by pleading the fifth numerous, numerous times. It appears the taxpayers have already had to take a hold of the great burden of time that has been taken away from Fulton County due to improper conduct, from her stalking her chief of staff to falsely coming up with ways to fire him to then having to make it to court appearances. It appears Commissioner Hall has been taking ample time and energies away from the Fulton County residents in order to support the mess she herself has gotten into. We, the residents of Fulton County, should not have to bear the weight of such tasteless behavior. If anyone pays, it's time Commissioner Hall does, and not us. Good morning, Commissioners. Uh, Matt Runzak, Fulton County resident. You know, it's often that whenever you see a poll where it asks Americans their trust or approval of our government, it's a failing grade every single time. It gets better as you move more locally, but it's still a failing grade. So as an elected official, you would think this would be something that we would keep in mind. So with this being said, Commissioner Hall, you decide to allegedly hire someone that you met at a library. Sounds like a sound decision. Then you decide to have an inappropriate sexual relationship with your chief of staff. Sounds like a sound decision. Then you put tracking devices in his vehicle. That sounds to be like a sound decision. Then you retaliate by firing him. Sounds to be like a sound decision. And then Instead of making a simple apology, maybe to the public at a minimum, you go on the victim tour to the church. And you go, right next to you is our corrupt DA. So instead of showing some remorse, I think a resignation letter would actually be more appropriate and not seeking re-election, you decide to go on the victim tour. So I fully support resolution 24-0135. 200,000 should just be the starting point. I would assume if that actually came out of your paycheck, you'd be on the other side of this issue real fast. Thank you. Keith Gamich, the Solicitor General, does not like gay people. Greetings, my name is Jay Wesley Day. I hail from Chicago and I am a current resident of District 4 with Natalie Hall. In 2018, I was beaten into a coma and only survived due to a ventilator machine at Grady Hospital. The first injustice is that Keith Gamich charged me with a misdemeanor of fray in spite of me having my assailants on cell phone cameras, taunting me with homophobic slurs and threats. The second injustice is that Keith Gamich dismiss the case by the main assailant who's on camera beating me. The third injustice is that Keith Gamage upgraded my misdemeanor charge for recommendation of a felony to Funny Willis' office. As a result, I lost my job with Delta Airlines because I reported to them I had a pending misdemeanor. But it, it was Delta that first informed me that I indeed had a pending felony. And I was terminated. I had to take my son out of the University of Wisconsin. How is this fair, smart, or restorative justice? Which makes the fourth injustice at, at the hem of Keith Gamage. Now we are approaching the fifth atrocity as the second assailant from my 2018 case will potentially have his case dismissed by the district attorney's office.